Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Well, I talked about this possibility around one week ago with the Activision Blizzard quarterly report, but I didn't actually think it would come to pass. But now it looks like the worst case scenario is happening, and Blizzard, Hearthstone, is leaving China. Blizzard Entertainment and NetEase suspending game services in China. Certain games will no longer be available at end of license with NetEase on January 23rd, 2023. Blizzard Entertainment announced today that it will be suspending most Blizzard game services in mainland China due to the expiration of the current licensing agreement with NetEase on January 23rd, 2023. This includes World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, Warcraft 3 Reforged, Overwatch, the StarCraft series, Diablo 3 and Heroes of the Storm. Diablo Immortal co-development and publishing is covered under a separate agreement between the two companies. So Diablo Immortal would be the only Blizzard game that remains in China after January 23rd. Blizzard Entertainment has had license agreements with NetEase since 2008, that's a long time since Wrath of the Lich King, covering the publication of these Blizzard titles in China. The two parties have not reached a deal to renew the agreements that is consistent with Blizzard's operating principles and commitments to players and employees, and the agreements are set to expire in January 2023. We will suspend new sales in the coming days and Chinese players will be receiving details of how this will work soon. Upcoming releases of Dragonflight, much of the Lich King and Season 2 of Overwatch 2 will proceed later this year. Well, wow, that is quite something. Because, okay, Blizzard did warn us about this in the quarterly report. And this is the section that I already quoted when I talked about the quarterly report in an earlier video. Currently, we have licensing agreements with a third party covering the publication of several Blizzard titles in China. These agreements, which contributed approximately 3% of the Activision Blizzard's consolidated net revenues in 2021, expire in January 2023. We are in discussions regarding the renewal, but a mutually satisfactory deal may not be reached. We continue to see substantial long-term growth opportunities for our business in the country. And Diablo Immortal is covered by a separate long-term agreement. Alright, so 3% of Activision Blizzard's consolidated net revenues. We don't get more accurate than that, but we know that Blizzard is between a quarter and a third of Activision Blizzard. So let's say Blizzard is a quarter of Activision Blizzard, and let's say that Blizzard is the only part that is doing business in China. Well, that would mean that out of Blizzard business that would be like 12%. So okay, that is possible. That's possible that it's up to 12% of Blizzard's business. But I've already seen people on like Reddit and places say like, hey, it's a 40-50% China is such a huge market. Well, it is a market, but huge market? Well, not currently, not from Activision Blizzard's point of view anyway. Remember, of course, when they have an agreement, they work with a partner, then that partner also takes a cut, also spends money on it, of course. So the revenues are not exactly the same as they would be if Activision Blizzard were to go alone. But even though it was clear already from this that the worst case scenario would be that Blizzard games will become unavailable in China, I'm still surprised that things would actually come to this and Blizzard titles would be really, truly unavailable in China. If you wonder how important this deal is from NetEasy's perspective, well, here is NetEasy's comment. NetEasy said, net revenues and net income contribution from the licensed Blizzard games represented low single digits as a portion of its overall sales and profits in 2021, as well as the first nine months of this year. The ending of the arrangement will have no material impact on NetEasy's financial results, the company added. So it appears that Blizzard at least does not have a lot of leverage over NetEase, if that's really the case, that these are low single digits of NetEase business, then yeah, like sure, they could continue, but Blizzard doesn't have much to pressure them with to get a good deal for Blizzard. We don't have any details of the negotiations, of the demands of either party, or whether Blizzard will be able to move to work with another partner, something like Tencent, for example, instead of NetEase. But yeah, we'll see. If Hearthstone does end in China in January, and those players will not have access to Hearthstone for several months, they will migrate to other games, it might be really, really hard to get that crowd back. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.